Warning. The following information is very boring. It can save you money, though. Hi, I'm Jimmy, and I wanted to create this video to teach people how interest is calculated so they can keep from being taken advantage of by you know, anybody who's trying to give them a loan with any type of interest rate. Whether that's a car loan, you're going to a car lot, and you think you're getting a great deal, but really at the end of it, all you're doing is paying an arm and a leg in interest. Or maybe you're taking out a loan for a house, getting a car loan through a bank, or taking out a student loan. It's very important that you know how to calculate the interest on any type of loan you take out. I think there's a good chance that once you learn how to do this, you will be very less likely to ever take out a loan. So, first I'm going to show you the formula to calculate your APR, and then we're going to look at several common examples. Okay, first the formula, simple formula to calculate your annual percentage rate. Uh, we're going to look at the interest as being accrued daily. That's how it usually is done on most loans that I've looked at. To do that, you're going to have the days from your last payment divided by the number of days in the year. Take that number, multiply it by your annual percentage rate, and then take that number times your balance. And that is the interest that's accrued since the beginning of your your loan accruing interest or since your last payment. Then that interest is added to your total balance. You, know, you subtract your payment from that and then you have your new balance. The system continues on until your loan is finally paid off. So now let's look at a couple examples. Since we're a car dealership, what I like see the most is how this is done and the few buy here, pay here loans we've done. Let's take this Subaru Forester we have, for example, we're asking ninety nine ninety five for it, and most buy here pay here lots they charge a twenty percent interest rate. So if we were to do that, that's not an option right now. We're not doing buy here pay here, but if we were, and we were doing a twenty percent interest rate, let's let's calculate that up and see what it looks like. All right, so you have ninety nine ninety five is the price of the vehicle, your six percent sales tax, then. You have your dock fee, your title fee, new plates, your lien fee to the state, etc. Your total, what that is, let's say you're giving a thousand dollar down payment. I know a lot of buy here, pay here car lots, they do that. Nine ninety nine down payment, they'll say. So you have your twenty percent interest rate, buy here, pay here car lots. I've seen that they have deals exactly like this set up. What they have it set up is for ten years worth of payments, you're paying a hundred and ninety dollars a month. For 10 years, in all, you're paying a total interest of $13,000. Total for everything said and done, you paid almost $24,000 for this car. Now let's drop that down to 60 months. Drop it down to five years, half the time. You can do that by paying about $70 more a month. You're paying now paying $260 some dollars a month. And you actually, when all said and done, you saved yourself about $7,000. In total interest. So that goes to show like the faster you pay that off, you stop the interest from accruing. All right, so now let's say you get your loan from a bank. Banks usually charge about 10%, go up to 120 months, 10 years. So if you paid $130 a month in 10 years, you could have that paid off. You'd be paying, you know, you're really you're paying about half the interest in 10 years to the bank. You can see you're paying. $5,783 total interest to the bank. We drop that total of payments down to five years. You can do that $209 a month and five years to pay off that loan. You can see what you're paying total. The sale price of the vehicle is $99.95, all your, all your fees and costs on top of that. And then with the 10% interest rate, you're paying a total of more than $2,700 in interest, $13,585.94 in full. And that's if you make your payments precisely on time when they're due. If you pay before, you're going to pay less. If you pay after when they're due, you're going to pay more. If you pay after, you also, you might get your car repossessed and then you'll be out the entire amount you paid down at least or whatever you paid since your initial purchase.
that gives you a good idea of what a car loan is. Remember the calculation that I showed you. Days from your last payment, or when it initially started, divided by number of days in the year, times the APR, your annual percentage rate, multiply that by your total balance. You know, that's how you calculate your APR. One more example I wanted to look at is, I feel like this is like a very common example I can combine into one, a mortgage for a house and student loans. Now both of these charge about 5% annual percentage rate. And I'd say $100,000 would be like a good number to say that we'll, we'll take out for either a house or a student loan. So I look at $100,000 here, no cost on top of that 100,000, no down payment. We change the annual percentage rate to 5%. I wanna pay my student loan off in 20 years per se. I would have to pay $659.96 a month for 20 years. The first month that interest accrues on your $100,000, $410.96 alone has accrued in that first 30 days. You have to pay at least that much off to start paying off the total amount that you've been lended. So you have to pay more than $410.96 off in after 30 days to even be ahead on your loan. So I hope this video helps you you know, calculate the interest you're going to be paying on whatever loan you might be taking out because I'd imagine that's why you're watching this video. It's very simple. Days from last payment or when it started divided by number of days in a year times your annual percentage rate. Take that number, multiply it by your total balance of that's the interest accrual formula. So if this, you found this video helpful, so if you found this video helpful, definitely give us a thumbs up. Leave your comments below.